afternoon. It is April the 11th. It is nice and sunshiny outside in Kansas City, Missouri. And with, uh, <clears throat> with seeing Fast and Furious last week and knowing that um, Avengers is coming in three weeks, I feel like I kind of have uh, two weeks to see whatever I want to. And I went and uh, made the decision to go see A Woman in Gold. Sounds like a James Bond title, doesn't it? A Woman in Gold is probably what I would consider the first uh, best picture worthy movie of 2015. It stars Helen, Mel uh, Helen Mel Merriam and Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds is so much easier to get than out than Hel Helen Merriam, isn't it? Um, Helen plays the real life uh, Maria Altman, who is Austrian born. Uh, she comes to the United States and lives here for the past uh, 40 years. By the way, this is based on her true story. She lives here for the past 40 years and she always has on her heart and mind her family that she left behind in Austria. Um, she left right when the, the Nazis were beginning to take over Austria, so this is all based in historic fact, at, at least, and it gives us an historic picture of what things may have been like during that time. And one of the things that she leaves behind, not only for her family, but her aunt, who she was very close to, who made a gorgeous, uh, had a gorgeous portrait of herself made that was uh, decorated in gold, and you find out that this uh, particular piece is worth a hundred million dollars uh, in today's market value. So when the Nazis went in and took uh, uh, Maria Altman's family's art over, they confiscated and eventually it m ends up being in a museum in Austria where it remained until um, Maria Altman's goes back with Ryan Reynolds, who is a young struggling lawyer who... Uh, is in his 30s. He is trying to support his family. He had tried. He went out and tried to start his own law firm. Is not able to be successful in that. So, interesting enough, Marie Altman and Rondo Schoenberg, who Ryan Reynolds portrays in this movie, they have a history together in the fact that their families have been uh, friends for a long time. Both Maria and Randall are Austrian. Um, whereas when I saw um. Monuments Men, uh, another movie that uh, talks about the, the art confiscation during World War II. I was expecting that kind of feel to this movie. But with the, with the age gap between Maria and Randall, Randall's maybe in his 30s. Maria, I would say she's probably in her 60s at this point. I think it, at the end credit she says she died in 2011. So they pair up. So you have, if you saw Philomena a few years ago, you kind of have that feel throughout this movie uh, between... Maria and Randall. Um, the the age and the youth, the the desire for Maria to want to obtain her her family's treasure of this painting of her aunt that she holds so dear, who she doesn't really care about the the monetary value. It's just knowing that a piece of her is left in, in Australia, Austria, and all the fears and concerns and and rightfully so. The, the reluctance to go back the, to a place that she hadn't been since the Nazis took over uh, plays very powerfully in this movie. Randall, he's uh, you know he's a little reluctant to take this uh, case. He ends up working for free. Uh, eventually, whereas Maria has all the strength to want to go get this done, and Randall's a little bit uh, reluctant to get involved in this, you get begin to see the tide turn as the movie plays out. Um, I think I have a greater appreciation for. Uh, art, not just not just for its monetary value, that really never crosses my mind when I when I think of art, but just the reality, nor even the beauty. As as beautiful as art is, as much as I love going to the Nelson Atkins here in our hometown of Kansas City, Missouri, but it's just the reality that art is a part of our history. That it's a, a piece of us. That it talks and tells a story of about who we were during our respective time period. And I think that really uh, plays throughout this. Eventually, um, Maria and Randall end up going before the Austrian court. And I don't want to ruin the movie too much for you if I haven't already. So if I've ruined the movie for you, no, I apologize. But it, it builds well. The acting is fantastic. I think both Helen Merriam and Ryan Reynolds ought to be Helen up for Best Actress. I think Ryan Reynolds right now could, should could be considered best actor so far. Again, 2015 is still young. There's a lot of movies to go. Um, I, I think it challenges me to ask 
Um, because like I said before, um, Maria and Randall, Helen, Ryan, Reynolds, Maria's beginning to lose some gas in here while Randall is, is going with his intuition saying that they need to keep going in this. And I think something that for us to think about, where is it when we think we have obstacles that we're not going to overcome? Where do we allow those obstacles to dictate what we do? And where do we let our intuition, our instincts take over to, to carry us where our energies might be floundering? And I think that's one of the big lessons that you take away from this film. Um, when you're on the brink of success, are you willing to push over the, the, the top of the mountain, so to speak, to, to get to where you need to be? And I think this movie helps, uh, helps me to think about that a little bit. So I de definitely, definitely, I don't know why. Critics have been kind of harsh on this movie, and I'm, I'm not understanding why, but it's a beautifully, beautifully done movie. So again, if you like Philomena, it's not exactly the same, but there's, there's that feel to it. So if you like that movie, I think you'll like this movie. Um, there are some great trailers in here for upcoming movies, and I'll have to, I have to apologize. I'm better with remembering the trailers for the more popular movies than I am the more artistic films. Uh, there's quite a few things that are coming out. Um, Russell Crowe plays a dad who, uh, whose sons uh, look like they get uh, shot during World War One, World War Two, and that movie is uh, surrounds trying to find out what happened to his sons. I think that comes out in September of this year. The the boxing movie that whose name I keep forgetting that's all also coming out this year. Um, has uh, uh, he's going to be in uh, he's going to be in the uh, superhero movie coming up here pretty soon. So that's he's the main actor in that movie. My tape just fell off, so pardon me for that. And I think there is a few other things in there that I've already forgotten. So again, definitely go out and see A Woman of Gold. Doesn't it does sound like a James Bond title, doesn't it? So it's not Jared Big James Bondy, but it is interesting that in that uh, in this thing that Maria refers to Randall as a Sean Connery type so and she does make a James Bond reference in there so you have a great day I'm gonna clean up and I will talk to you later have a great weekend bye